Mouse and Bear Written and illustrated by Kev Payne Mouse loved painting the island. She loved painting the trees, the flowers, the birds and the bugs, but most of all, her friends. Sometimes Mouse would sell one of her paintings in return for food. This made her very proud. Mouse put the food into two piles, one for her and one for Bear. Bear was big. Bear was powerful. Bear promised to protect all the animals on the island if they shared some of their food with it. You look after me, said Bear, and I'll look after you. Most of the animals shared their food fairly, but not all. The fat cats were sneaky. When Bear came to them, they didn't have much to give. One night there was a huge storm. It shook the trees, rattled the seas, and covered the land in a blanket of snow. Mouse stayed safe indoors from the storm and waited for Bear to come and help. She waited and waited and waited, but Bear never came. I know, said Mouse. I will go and find Bear myself. Outside, the island looked very different. But Mouse was determined and found Bear's cave. Lots of animals were sheltering inside, even the fat cats. They were being very well looked after. Mouse crept up to Bear. Where's my space in the cave? she asked. Ah, said Bear, there's not enough room for a mouse. Mouse was dumbfounded. It certainly looked like there was room in the cave. But I gave you my food, said Mouse. You said you would help me. I cannot help you now said Bear. I will see you when the storm is over. But, began Mouse. Bear glared and growled at Mouse. <sighs> it turned its vast back against her. As Mouse scurried out of the cave, her cries were quickly swallowed by the darkness. Mouse braved the storm. It howled and whipped and stung, tired and hungry. Mouse fell to the ground when she heard a tiny voice. Follow me, it whispered. The voice led Mouse up and over, down and through, until finally she ducked into a hole. Inside, there were more mice just like her. There were artists, writers, dancers, musicians, entertainers, all ignored by Bear. The next few weeks were long and tough, but the mice stuck together. They cheered each other when they were down, the scraps they could find were shared. Sometimes they even had fun. One day it was safe to go outside. Slowly, slowly, life could begin again. Mouse could paint again. And just as before, she made two piles of food, one for her and one for Bear. Soon enough, Bear came calling. Bear looked at the food. Give me more, said Bear. For the first time in a long time, Mouse felt strong. No, she said firmly. What? roared Bear, aghast. You realise I could swipe you with my claws? Give me more. No, repeated Mouse. You realise I could crush you in one step? Give me more. No, said Mouse a third time. Bear stood on its hind legs and towered over Mouse. It lifted a mighty paw, then lowered it. These paintings are very good, said Bear. Tell me more. Mouse told Bear all about her work, and Bear listened. Then Bear saw all of the other mice who were doing incredible things. Bear watched in awe at the busy mice, marvelled at their many talents and how hard they all worked. Finally, Bear apologised to all the mice and promised they'd never be ignored again. Mouse was so happy that she painted a special picture and when it was sold, 
Mouse made not one, not two, but three piles of food. One for her, one for Bear, and, this time, a much, much bigger one for all the mice to share. <laughs>